From towering skyscrapers to city-spanning bridges, these engineering marvels of modern America have one thing in common. The men and women of Sims Crane. Today, the erection crew is scheduled to mobilize a 250-ton crawler crane at the port of Tampa. But the Sunshine State might have other plans. But yeah, we were supposed to go move a crane today, 2,500, but that ain't happening. Mother, right. na Mother Nature is peed on our parade. It's raining today, there's no chance of uh, it not raining today. It's 90% all day long, so we're going to call it for tomorrow. Well, Jimbo's been here and I rely on his experience. His, he's my eyes, extra eyes of experience. As a crane operator, you gotta keep your eye on, not just yourself, you gotta keep an eye on everybody, not even like just your oiler or something like that. You gotta watch everybody around you. Day two looks more promising. The erection crew arrives at the job site. Rain won't stop them today. Time to get to work. Casey is a young guy. He's uh, new, catching on very quickly, doing a great job. So I'll go out with the erection crew one day, and the next day I'll go out with a uh, hydraulic crane and oil on one of those, but there's no such thing as a typical day yet. So what is a typical day? Objective, erect a 100-ton crawler crane on a hot, sweltering day. Zachary's uh, been so far been a good hand and is picking up what's going on. We're going to start on the bottom, work my way up, get respect for the cranes, just letting them guys take it easy and let the young guns do all the heavy muscling. The apprentices ready the counterweights and position them on the crane. These counterweights stabilize the crane. The larger counterweights are then added to the rear of the crane, enabling the crane to lift heavier loads. Weight-wise, you know, I've set pedestrian bridges that are a couple hundred foot long and, you know, steam vessels that are a couple hundred thousand pounds. I've erected several warehouses, so, you know, you drive by and you can say, hey, I put that up there and stuff like that. Uh, the one thing that sticks out is a pipe that was huge. It weighed like 30,000 pounds and it was the shape of an L. 30,000 uh, pound pipe, but that doesn't sound cool though. The biggest thing I ever picked up was a vessel out at New Wales, out at the mines. It was like 220,000 pounds. 100 and something thousand pound generator. A propane tank. I picked up an elephant one time at the zoo. That was cool. He tried to eat my tagline. The first section of boom is added to the crane. The boom of the crawler crane is joined together by huge pins. These pins are used to connect the sections of boom together. The crane operator swings the boom around to begin attaching the remaining sections. The crew reverses the crane to make room for more boom to be added. Normally if you mess up on the job site or you do something wrong, that's how you get your nickname. You don't just get a nickname because you're good. Everybody and Sims Crane has a nickname. They call me Jimbo around here. So. Night Rider? They call me Boobs. Jimbo kind of gave me the nickname Little One. I don't hit my head on usually the stuff they hit their heads on. My nickname is Bubba, but I've been called that since I was two, so it's, it's really not a nickname. Ren. Okay. Like Ren and Stimpy. It's better than Dumbass. Who got the pennant lines? All these lines go down to the front. Pick up the whole front of the crane. Look at that pennant line. <laughs> yeah, all we gotta do is put these together and run cable, and that's it. It's going pretty good. We're moving along. Moving in the beginning. <laughs> I got told by Jimbo, turn it off. Put your AC on out here. We're unplugging it. <laughs> you know, old Jimbo's laugh when you hear it. I mean, it's a distinctive laugh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Now you know you ain't supposed to be doing that. You know. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> it's hard to do it without la actually laughing. Yeah. And it makes you want to laugh. It takes many years of experience to master this process. Three hours later, the crew completes the build process. This crane is ready for heavy lifting. Any building or structure, you know, a crane operator's been there at one point in time, you know, and it's a, it's a trade that we can't overlook, you know, and we need guys to get into it because um, not everything can be computers and inside an office, you know, we still need guys to build America and, and the rest of the world. You can't build anything probably in the United States without using a crane. They build highways, they build bridges, skyscrapers, move airplanes, signs. Our crew is a family looking around here. We keep an eye on each other. They want me to grow as well as everybody else that comes up. So it's a really, really great company.